Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Monkey Barrel Comedy Chat Show, our wonderful show where every week we have guests on that are visiting Monkey Barrel Comedy and we get to know those comedians a little bit better. And this week we have a wonderful guest. It's Tamsin Kelly. <laughs> I've started to lower my energy with each episode because when we started, I was like, whoa. And I guess it's always like, hi. <laughs> so that's good. We've, we've started to manage it. So uh, Tamsin, you are from uh, Penzance in Cornwall. I am. Yeah, and I've only ever heard Penzance mentioned in like the Pirates of Penzance, which yeah. is like a, a musical, I think. Gilbert it's and Sullivan I Gilbert musical. Sullivan. Yeah. Uh, I don't even know if it's set. I don't, it could be a different Penzance. It's just like that. Yeah. It's, it's just like the musical. It's exactly, it's exactly the, same. the same. Yeah, yeah. It's been ho- horrible. I'm glad I'm not there anymore. Yeah. Oh, it's not a nice place. <laughs> no, I've got no. Of course, I think it's the best place. Really? I oh. love Penzance. I got so excited because I'm from Dublin. I just love to just talk about how it's the worst place ever <laughs> to go. To. People go, I'm gonna go visit Dublin. I'm like. Why? No. Um, we can do that if you want. Yeah. <laughs> we can slag Dublin off. Welcome like. to talking. Have you ever done shows in Dublin? <laughs> I have. I did a split with Alison Spittle. Wonderful. At Whelan's. I was about to say friend of the street, friend of the show, but friend friend of me. Friend of the years. street, did you say? <laughs> friend, of the, friend of the street, Alison Spittle. I don't know if she's going to be okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> friend of the street, Alison Spittle. I think that could be a whole new brand for Alison. That could that could work really well. Uh, but yeah, you did a split show there. Yeah, it was great. Yeah, okay, all right. That the show like was lovely. Dublin, Dublin's very good if you go in and then get out as quickly as possible. Okay. You got to get you got to get the little snippet of it. It's, it, it's. I remember it's quite expensive. It's so expensive. What's their um, John look like? Is it Dunes? Brown. Do- th- so there's Dunn Dunn, Stores, sorry, Dunn's. which is kind of fancy. And then there's a, there's a proper one that's really fancy called Brown Thomas. And that's like the classiest of the class. Oh, I didn't w. go there. Oh, it's unbelievable. I'll, I'll Security that. guards just follow you around the whole time. Okay. No matter how classy you look. They're well, just I like... need friends. So <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, uh, Dublin's so expensive that when I uh, went on like a big family holiday a couple of years ago to Disney World, I was blown away by how cheap everything wow. was at Disney World. I was like, oh my God, this chick, this was, this was seven pounds for this chicken and this restaurant. It was incredible. I was blown imagine, away. Imagine if Disney World becomes more economically viable for everyone <laughs> than like where they currently live. Yeah. We've all got to move to Disney World. Like everything, the food is so much cheaper. Like the oh hotel room basically works out less the, than your rent. The, the safety is great because even when there's a Mickey Mouse, they're also on the watch out for crimes. They're yeah, great. yeah, just They're the up and right move. Gated community, <laughs> <laughs> friendly characters. <laughs> 400 pounds a month let's go and you have an argument with your neighbor and they're like oh your tree's on my land <laughs> 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 that could be perfect i've yeah, been arguing with my neighbor he's a duck but like he's just really aggressive and not very nice like and it's weird because he's only wearing a shirt on the top half of his body <laughs> but when he takes that shirt off then he acts like he's naked. <laughs> it's, it's very confusing <laughs> I would, I would 100% live in Disneyland. Uh, would if you? That was, yeah, I would. I think that would be, I mean, I don't like to think of what the the, the crime would be like there. <laughs> Just, I got beaten up by a bunch of animated chipmunks. They yeah, stole yeah. my wallet. Yeah. I do know there's a weird thing where one of the parks uh, in Disney... Um, when they close at night, there's feral cats that just come in. Like the second they close at midnight, all these feral cats just come in and they have to like whoosh them away like in the really? morning. Like, get out, get out. Cats think, instead of rats. That's very yeah. Disney, isn't it? It's it's very, but uh, what a terrifying idea. Yeah. That there's just And there, there is parks that they have in there where they've just abandoned them. Like there used to be like an adventure park island and they just left it there and youtubers constantly try to get there and see things and they're just filled with alligators because <laughs> yeah. like obviously florida just alligators wow. everywhere so maybe maybe it's not as as wonderful a place to live as i no. first thought i love about the abandoned theme parks thing though although i would be gutted if i came up with a theme park and then everyone just wanted to see the bit that i'd abandoned <laughs> I'd be like so upset. <laughs> Guys, I've worked really hard on this new bit and all you want to do is see the bit that's fallen to bits. That's really... <laughs> big, big giant castle fireworks yeah. show and everyone's like, what about the abandoned bit? I heard it's haunted. And it's yeah. like, we have a haunted mansion. I Go made that, that bit in like 1950. I'm over it. Can you get over it? <laughs> yeah. I, I closed it because it's like, it's crazy racist. <laughs> it's not okay to go there. It's very problematic. <laughs> okay. So one of our things that we do to get people settled into this uh, show, into our, our, our weird podcast, is we jump into uh, your social media and we pick out a oh random old post that you're going to have to explain. So for people watching on YouTube, you'll see the post now for people listening we can explain it it's i believe you on the news i believe sky news yeah <laughs> 
perfect. And you're being interviewed about the Edinburgh Fringe. Yeah. <laughs> Was that a fun day? Uh, all I, when I look at that picture, all I remember is being like so tired because it's the <laughs> breakfast show. And oh. I honestly look at that and think, you poor bitch. Like you were so exhausted. Yeah. And I also like feel like I just look like I don't give a shit. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> Well, but they never know about like the fringe. They never know. It's always just somebody going, oh, you might be standing up at uh, work today. But some people who stand up at their job all day long are comedians. And we're joined <laughs> by Tams and Kelly right now. Like these horrible setups. And I, I bet the questions were a nightmare. I don't even remember. So basically, they just got me on there because I'm poor. Uh, well, I'm doing all right now. But at yeah. the time, they're like this... A, a girl who grew up in poverty near Land's End. Let's get her on. But the problem was, is that was my first stand-up show. It was also the year that I started doing stand-up. Mm -hmm. So I knew nothing. And they were asking me questions. And it's like, uh, honestly, I don't know. I don't, I don't know how I'm here. Like, this is really oh, bizarre. Um, so, yeah, it was an... Uh, and so then, they're like, what are the ups and downs of comedy? And you're like, it's been mostly ups so far. Yeah, I, I don't I'm know. doing it. Yeah. So that's good. And I don't then, know how I'll deal with the rest. After me, there was like a piece on Iran or something. And it was <sighs> like, yeah, cool. Lovely. There's, yeah. a, there's a famous TV show in Ireland called The Late Late Show. And it's one of the oldest shows in the world. But what's so funny is they'll have comedians kind of uh, sandwiched in between like the maddest guests possible. So very famously, Jimmy Carr had to go on and be interviewed. And then right after him was a woman who could talk to angels. Wow. <laughs> and she was being interviewed with the same level of seriousness of, and, and what did the angels say then? What are you saying angels aren't real? Uh, well, she she certainly had some interesting choices of angels. She was She was being sexually interactive with the angels. So it was quite a lot. It was quite a lot. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> and it's all old people sitting in the audience who've got tickets for free. And she's like, they, they, would, they, they would come on to me and we would make love and then they would leave. And you'd be like, no one's going to make a joke there. Okay, we'll move okay. on. Wow. Let, let, let it happen. And poor old Jimmy Carr must have been backstage thinking like, if only she'd gone out first, this yeah. would have been the oh, best. Yeah. That's uh, why they did that though. You yeah. Know. Uh, so uh, was, was, there, was there anything good that came from this? Anything? No. <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't, wouldn't recommend. Completely pointless. They actually called me the other day. I think I must be on a list of theirs. Yeah. And they wanted to ask me about... Did they want to ask me about, like... I think they wanted to ask me about, like, wokeness. Oh, my God. Which... Yeah. I don't... It, it's not really a word. It's not really a thing. For me, but... Um, I, I just uh, said no. Yeah. <laughs> no, thank you. I mean, that is the modern equivalent of talking to angels, I feel like. Would you like to come on and talk about woke? Work, yeah. The thing that isn't real and we're furious about all the time. Yeah, no, I'm okay, thanks. So that was, was that uh, before, was that your, before your first fringe or? Yes, that was just before my first fringe. Wow. Which uh, went terribly. Um, I, I mean, I everyone realized... has a terrible one, I feel, yeah. Hey? I feel like everyone has a terrible one. I think if it's your first one, that's it. But I did, yeah. I basically did, I thought, right, I was doing like character stuff and like I used to do drag. And then I thought, oh, I'm going to do stand up. I thought, I'll just do an hour at the fringe every day. That seems like the best way to learn how to do it. And what I learned very quickly was I didn't know how to do it. Um, so it was a long month. <laughs> It was a long run. That's the that's the thing no one tells you. It's like sometimes, like the fringe tells you stuff. It teaches you lessons, but sometimes they're lessons you wish were being taught nicer to you. Yeah, <laughs> like, or just like in one day, yeah. not like over the course of a month. That would have been the good. same lesson for twenty eight days in a row. Yeah. It's so much. Just every day, just like ow, ow, <laughs> ow. Yes, I know. I don't know how to do. I this. get it. I get it. Yeah. All right, drunk people are tough to gig to. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we also have some questions that came from social media that people sent in. That these can just be who knows what these are going to be, but uh, questions number one is what's the worst pet name you've ever heard the worst pet name yeah like dog animal any any pet. oh god what a question it can be it can be one of your own um, it can be one that you've heard out there and out and about in the I wild don't, i can't think of one specifically but like you can I call don't think alison dogs... spittle of the streets if you want to <laughs> <laughs> get some backup from her i don't like dogs with posh names yeah i just hate the, i hate the idea of like a pet being in a higher social class than i am <laughs> <laughs> 
Do you know that video where the dog runs after the deer? Reggie. And I was like, oh, oh no, I think it's Finton. Well, Vin- oh, Finton. sorry, Finton. Yeah, yeah. No, it's very famous. And the dog- sorry, Finton. Sorry, <laughs> sorry Finton. <laughs> but yeah, the second he said the dog, and I was like, fuck that dog. Yeah. F- Finton. 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 That's not. Think about your bachelor's degree, Finton. Yeah. It's yeah. So okay. Awful. That's. I think that's pretty bad. Finton's and, pretty bad. I mean, my I, my dog is called Sophie Ellis Barkster. <laughs> How, how did you hold on to that for so long? <laughs> because I thought, uh, I, I don't know, I don't know. I guess I just thought it's going to come out at some point. Uh, like, it's fine. You, Sophie you buried Barkster. the lead there. Very I think good. you'll find the question was bad names for pets. <laughs> so that's why I held on to it because it just wasn't relevant. It wasn't relevant. It's the best one. It's a great oh name my for God. a dog. Well, we can twist it. What's the best pet name you've pet, best pet name you've ever heard? That'd and be I the think, name of my dog, yeah, Sophie Alice Barkster. I think Sophie Alice Barkster is my my favorite one. Wow, uh, woof woof on the dance floor. Yeah, Not I mean, that. annoyingly, she's yeah, she's less murder on the dance floor, more like biting kids in Aldi. But, <laughs> I mean, I know dogs aren't allowed in Aldi, but I, I let her in so she can see what she wants. I think if I think if a security guy came up to you and said you're not allowed to have dogs in here and you just turn around and said, this is not a dog, this is Sophie Ellis, Ellis Barkster. Barkster, he'd be like, go right ahead. And you will address her directly. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make eye contact with my dog, please. <laughs> okay, next one is a bit weirder. What is the first Disney character you were ever attracted to? Disney again. Disney again, yeah. I don't oh, know how we've looped back this, around. I don't think this is weird at all. This is a conversation I've had recently. Perfect. Well, I guess... Um, I guess, like, Simba when he's older. Simba when he's older and weirdly Jafar. So I can just hear uh, pr- producer of the podcast, Claire, outside just clicking because that was one of her guesses. <laughs> just like, yes, yeah, Simba! It's Simba when he's, he's older. older. But weirdly not, like, not, you know, the second Lion King, Kovu. He's not doing it for me. Oh, it's I've... like they made him too much of a bad boy. I was like, oh, I can see what you're trying to do here. <laughs> I did see that on Twitter this week. People really? were like, he would get it. He would absolutely no get it. I did. Disagree. I saw a picture. It was the, it was the, the little flick of hair. And uh, <laughs> it's like the evil. He's the evil one, right? Yeah, he goes, but he goes good. So like... I get, you know, maybe they're falling in love with the journey of the character. Have they thought about that? Whereas yeah. Simba's just like, good guy, good guy, good guy. Yeah. And I feel like that's not been championed enough, really. They're, but they're going for the very Adam Driver kind of vibes. He is so Adam, Adam Driver. Driver. If Adam Driver was a lion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if Adam Driver was a lion, he'd be Kofi from Simba 2. <laughs> Can we just put up a picture of Adam Driver and a picture of, oh, there we go. We see it now. <laughs> Um, yeah, Actually, think... yeah, okay. No, I've changed my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Uh, I, I think one of the classic ones is like people people really like the fox from from Robin Hood. Mm. And I, I, I feel like it's like a different generation thing. I think people that grew up with Lion King are like, oh, Simba. I was about to be like, he's a bit skinny for me. <laughs> <laughs> he is quite scrawny. He is quite a scrawny character. He is quite scrawny. He's not like a hedge lion. Do you yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> like that. If you think the fox is better than a lion, have a word with yourself. Like <laughs> the lion, better. The, the lions are on Huel. They're fucking hit, they're hitting everything. You know. Nobody, nobody ever says humans. Nobody ever says like Aladdin or, or anything like that. It's always the it, it brings out the furry in people. I guess the Disney characters. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's because when you were younger, you like had such a strong affinity with the animal characters yeah. as opposed to like the human characters. Yeah, perhaps. like Aladdin just feels like. That's a man. Yeah, like he's <laughs> also think, like really old. He yeah. also would have been like mm, so old. Yeah, like. and I think like Aladdin is meant to. They just used Tom Cruise's face apparently when they were making Aladdin. They just went just make no. it look like Tom. It's just look at Aladdin. Look, picture Aladdin, Tom Cruise. There you go. Huh? <laughs> you would find the camera there. Like this is a lot of editing. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just yeah. think like the human. They're not. They're just to me. They, they were less celebrated in my household. Like you know, like Cinderella. I was like, oh, well, it was like. I don't yeah. want to know. I'm like, you can cut that bit out because I was going to yeah. say something really bad about Cinderella. <laughs> I was going to slag Cinderella so hard. And she's like, she's one of my own. Do you know what I mean? Like, my mom had me doing all the chores when I was younger. I'm not saying my mom was an evil stepmother. She's really nice. But like, I'm just relate. saying, you like, can... Cinderella, Cinderella looks a bit like, oh, just shut up. Like, she's just. <laughs> Just dip my head in a bit, Snow White. Yeah. Like, S- somebody who's like, oh, I've made friends with the mice in my house because I'm so lonely. You're like, you're really making this about you. Like, don't ever call me because I yeah. don't want like, to. Did you put those mice in tiny clothes? What are you doing, Get Cinderella? Alive. And I, yeah, and I suppose that's because they never made 
good female characters, yeah. right? So, I, and I think there was like one one like character that they had, like who was an actress they hired, and they would just draw all the characters to look like that. So the same woman was was the basis for like Cinderella and Snow White and Sleeping Beauty. Well, I don't think I like that woman, unfortunately, because no, I, I don't like any of those characters. <laughs> <laughs> that is lame, very lame. And it's weird as well how, like, I think Little Mermaid is meant to be, like, the original version of that story. I think it's meant to be, like, a, a tale about not wanting to, like, you shouldn't want more than you have. Like, the original story of The Little Mermaid, like, everything ends in devastation at the end, and she's not allowed in the human world or the underwater world. And Disney was just like, nah, she just ends up with the prince at the end. It's like, nah, it's totally cool. It's totally fine. Uh, they, I think if they did their own version of like Hansel and Gretel, they'd just be like, yeah, they just got to live in that house made out of <laughs> food for the rest yeah. of their lives. Sick. All right, this one. <laughs> Here's our final oh, question no. of the three. You ready for this? If you were a scent, what would it be called? Mm, that's hard because <laughs> scents already have names. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like what if they am I mixed, supposed to say? If they mixed, like, what, what would what would your scent be? What would it be? Like a mixture of, would you go for strawberry and vanilla? What would you go for? So, like, are we saying, but we're saying what's the name of the scent? Yes. But like we're also going to develop the scent. We're going like to develop it as well, yeah. yeah. Um, well, I really like, like, I quite like spice. Yeah. So I'm going to go with, like, <laughs> I'm really into chai. So let's have chai, but as a perfume. <laughs> Chai is a perfume. Okay. I like that. I'm just thinking about smells that I like. I really like chai. <laughs> chai could work. I think people do like chai. I probably smell worse than that right now. <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> no, chai's very good. Uh what what would you call it though? So you've you've stolen the scent of chai and you've made <laughs> it. Pretending it's not that. Pretending it's not that. <laughs> it's not chai, by the way, guys. Stop saying it's chai, because it's my own thing. Whenever somebody asks you, like, is this just chai? You're like, I don't know what that is. I don't know what you're you sound crazy right now. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's actually um, I'm going to call it spicy C. <laughs> it's not Thai. It's different. It's spicy C. That's a completely different thing. So that's the, that's the, the, the name of the scent is spicy C. But what would, what would you, what would you call it? How would you brand it? How would I brand it? Oh God, I don't know. As in like, what, what's the uh, image that's going with the perfume? Yeah. Uh... Right. So, for example, Ewan said his his two cents would be uh, a cheeseburger and just Lynx Africa, which is very confusing. I didn't say that. For the record. I didn't realise. <laughs> did you? Well, you, I sensed it from you. I didn't realise this is an exercise in being disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> That's horrible. A cheeseburger and Lynx Africa. That. No, he didn't say that at all. Thank you, George. But I can say whatever I want over here. Oh. He, he's behind the camera. Yeah. Okay. What did what did you just say there? Did you just said something his scent would be? What's that? A wet dog. Yeah. <laughs> just wet. That was it. Just one thing. A wet dog. All right. You know, that's that's what you wanted to be. Wet dog. Sent to you. How would I brand it? Uh, I don't know. Probably just like, not me. Somebody that Ooh. will sell perfume better. Would you go for Adam Driver? Oh, that's dressed quite cool. As a tiger, dressed as a, a lion from a ti- not a tiger, the Tiger King. <laughs> He'd have like lion face paint on, but like yeah. sexy lion face paint, which might not exist yet, but it does in this scenario. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's just like lying in some leaves, I guess. <laughs> and is he saying like random words? Is he like, not chai? Um, no, let's not have him talk. No talking at all. There, there has been a few where they just don't let them talk, which I think is very funny. There was like a Chris Hemsworth one. And he thought he's going to say something at a certain point. And then a voiceover comes in and says the name of the, of the perfume. I think it's going to be Adam Driver rolling around in some leaves. And then I just say, uh, spicy C. <laughs> <laughs> But <laughs> get your spicy C in all all good saver stores. I like, I like how it drips from like a, like an Aldi advert, but also the classiest thing you've ever seen. Middle aisle. <laughs> Perfect. Oh my god. That's what my show's my new show at the moment is called Kicking Off in Aldi. Because I'm like upset, but I might just call it Londis. I might just call the yeah. show Londis. Yeah. We're that doing works about too. that. I've got nothing about I just like shops. I'm into shops. So. Yeah. I mean there is something exciting about I, I like I I knew people who would go to um, Aldi every like what is it every Wednesday and Sunday when the new stuff would come in the special buys. Oh my god! They were so excited by it. 
I really like the sound of these people. Oh yeah. I mean, I remember someone, <laughs> I remember a friend putting up a post on Instagram and it was him getting up at 6 a.m. to try and get to Aldi to get the special buy, which was a canoe. <laughs> They were selling a canoe in the middle aisle and they said on the little leaflet that you get like, oh, it's out on the 19th of May and there's two per store. So he was like, went there and they were like, oh, no, we didn't get that. And no! uh, we didn't get that. And he's like, oh, could you check in the back? And they're like, we'd know if we had a canoe. <laughs> <laughs> so he had to drive around all of the Aldi. And then apparently they just didn't, they had a mix up and they didn't get released that week. Couldn't get it. And then they just released it. On like a Friday, they just got them in and threw them out. And he's like, this is against the <laughs> rules of Aldi. We have a rule. If it's not out on Wednesday, it should be out on Sunday. Duh, how are we supposed to live like this? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? mean? <laughs> but it's very upsetting that he traveled all the way around and there's some other random person who was walking around doing their big weekly shop and just went, oh, a canoe. Go on then. Go on, get it in. <laughs> well, get it in the trolley. Yeah. <laughs> There was, there was pictures at the time of people with their full trolley full of their big shop and just a canoe sitting on it and people were trying to figure out how to get it home. I want to be in the canoe on the floor that's attached to the trolley that someone's having to push through the store <laughs> and I'm just sat in the back of the canoe like... And you're just reaching down and opening items and... Yeah, ooh, yeah. Chai tea, nice. The queen of Aldi. That's my dream, I think, actually. Yeah, yeah that's very good. Okay, so uh, our final thing that we have is we've questions from our previous guest. Our previous guest was Adam Flood. And Adam, oh, don't Adam, trust him. Don't Adam has trust sent him. a clip in. So we're going to watch the clip now. Uh, you'll hear it at home if you're listening on Spotify or, or Tamsin audio. Tamsin Kelly. A up, hon. Um, <laughs> three questions for you. Let's have them. Right, you're on Come Down With Me. What are your three meals and what are you getting? And, and that, that's the end of that question. Uh, the second question is, Eric Rushton asked me this one and, and on this segment last time I was on and I liked it a lot. And it was, in a biopic of my life, who would play you? And maybe as a little add on, what, what would the scene be? Um, <laughs> And question three probably would be this scene, actually. I once yeah. drove Tamsin and I yeah. uh, halfway across the country <laughs> the wrong way. <laughs> what is your, Tamsin, biggest backtrack in life? I um, guess that's three, isn't it? Best ending we've had for yeah. questions so far. Well, he's completely right about the scene. It would be when he drove us be. the wrong way to half the country. Yeah, that was bad. What was the first? So the first question is, what are your three meals on Come Down With Me? And, and what score are you going to get? Oh, I end? thought he said, you're on a come down with me. Oh. <laughs> I was like, why are we having three meals? Like, that's not okay. Not I genuinely thought he was like, you're on a come down with me. I'm like, okay, well, we've missed the best part of the question, but yeah. okay. Um, I'm on come dine with me what would my three meals be oh god this is something I used to absolutely agonise over mm. and now I can't even I can't even think what it would be uh, do you know what I'm just not thinking about the guests here at all I'm not no. thinking about winning I'm thinking about what I would like to eat and how easy is it and also, I'm not against getting stuff in from Aldi, just sticking it in the oven for come yeah. time with me. I always get really upset when, when they're like, oh, they just bought this in the shop and put it in. Yeah, that's fine. That's food. That's how you cook dinner. That's fine. I, I'm, I'm, that. I'm going for like a sort of more of a charismatic win yeah. over... Although are you going to bring? In that are you going to be one of the people that brings in like a random entertainment thing? Like, here's my friend Howard, and he plays the ukulele. No, I think we'd all just have a nap. <laughs> you ne <laughs> you never see that when come down with me, do you? It's like imagine imagine having all that food, then being forced to do and have entertainment. You know, I'll just let everyone have what they want, which will be a nap. Yeah. 100%. Oh my god! And everyone wakes up. And they're like, beforehand, I was going to give a three, but it's a ten now. Yeah. Wow, what a great sleep. Yeah. Anyway, the three meals. Uh, is it gross to do like a prawn cocktail starter? Ooh, I think that's no. really easy. That's really good as well. Yeah. And, and I, I think a lot of people think that's classy as well. What? Really? I think so. Yeah. I like, think that's quite trashy. I think it's classy. I, I, I get it every Christmas at, at the at the house, uh, my, my partner's family's house. And I'm always just like, ooh la la. Really? It's yeah. very 80s. It's I, a very 80s I'd dish. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. But it's, I, I don't know. I just think it. Maybe it missed Ireland completely, and I'm so like, oh, very fancy. The Celtic Tiger didn't bring this to us. Uh, oh God, I, could, I could really have one now. Yeah. Like, anyway, prawn cocktail. Well, it's funny you should know. 
<laughs> Sorry. And you'd have been able to smell it the second you walked into True. the room. This place stinks of a prom True. cocktail. And I would have been really excited. <laughs> <laughs> There's going to be a prom cocktail at some point in this interview. Uh, prom cocktail. Yeah. And then, God, what would I do for... Uh, is this a weird mix? I, I'm just thinking about what I can make, which is not very much. Mm-hmm. Carbonara. Carbonara is good. It's a solid base. It's... Given up, haven't I? Carbonara. <laughs> Second course, carbonara. Oh. I'm just imagining you coming out in front of the table. <laughs> Clearly I gave up. You can see I've given up. <laughs> just serving it with a shrug. Carbonara. <laughs> is that all right? Is that okay? Is that It's food. It is food. It is edible. What would I do for dessert? Carbonara. I would say a cheesecake, but that's quite heavy. Is it weird to do like a dessert wine and little biscuits? No, that's good. Is that, that makes, no be real? That is seems, that boring? That seems that's classy. Boring. I thought you were just going to say a slice of Viennetta for everyone. <laughs> I thought it was going to be that. No, I've I've got bad I've got bad history of Viennetta. Mm. Well, it's just my. It, do you know it's gluten free Viennetta? Oh really? And my brother's celiac, so I never I was never allowed to eat the Viennetta. So yeah. now I've just been like, well, that's it. It I'll always looks amazing on the box, but when you slide it out, it's always this mashed. It's always a bit, it doesn't look the same. I feel like Viennetta is really 80s as well. Yeah. I feel like flake as well. I always think of flake as being a very 80s thing. Mm. I don't know why. Probably because I remember like in the 90s, the adverts they were showing were still from the 80s. They were like old. Oh, adverts that and makes things. sense. That makes sense. I've just realized with my, there's no, usually at, on Come Dine with me, there's a theme, but mm. my theme is more just like what I can be asked to do. Yeah. Like, your theme is, can I get through this? Can I be asked? Yeah. Dessert, biscuits and what? But by the dessert, <laughs> open the fucking pack. I That's mean, it, it. it works well with the nap idea that you've got. Like, okay, you get, you know, the prawn cocktail. You get a huge amount of carbonara. And then you have a nap. And then you have that wine and the, and the thing. It just all puts you out. I'm wondering if we have the nap after the carbonara. Actually, I think the nap's the crucial part of this. <laughs> Are we having the nap after the carbonara? Yeah. That makes sense to me. Maybe maybe the dessert can just be Red Bull. Yeah. <laughs> Red Bull of vodka and just, whoa. Yeah. Get everyone excited. Um, do you, can I ask this as a separate question? Do you have a favorite episode or a favorite moment from Come Down With Me? Any moment where there's arguments and fighting. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying, oh, obviously the, what is it? When she's, re- oh, when, what a sad life change. Yeah, that yeah, one's good. One. That one's really good. He was, I, I, I think it's underrated when that girl goes, I don't get it. And he goes, <laughs> Well, I'm not surprised, love. Let's be honest. There's nobody in there. I was like, wow, that's so harsh. Oh, yeah. That's <laughs> so harsh. <laughs> yeah. I, any 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 part where they're really unhinged, I think is... Yeah, are idea. always so great. What's weird was I, that guy always seemed like the bad guy. And then I went back a while ago and I watched the full like week of those shows. And that woman that he's rude to is rude to him in every single episode coming up to the end. Perfect. So I didn't realize that at the end when he snaps, it's not just I'm crazy. It's like, you've been rude to me all week. You ruined my nice. You've got all the grace and decorum of a dump truck reversing with no tires on. <laughs> Take I love your how money. Well you know it. And get off my land. I love that was how a word well for a word. Oh, yeah. Oh, I don't mess around with that. All the grace and decorum of a reversing dump truck. I yeah. remember that. Na- Maybe that's wrong. Yeah. Yeah. But that's, yeah. that's, that's, that's with like, really. With no tires on as well. Yeah. That's, so oh, God. Yeah. Great. That's oh, brilliant. God. I can't believe you remembered that. That's amazing. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, in a biopic of your life, or in a biopic of Adam Flood's life, who would play you? Well, I can't imagine I'd be a major character in Adam's <laughs> life, so probably not that that some some extra, probably yeah. just uh, anyone they audition on the day, anyone sort of on the street. It's very do. No, who would play me? Is it the Disney version of his? Yeah. Is it a Disney biopic? Are you a, a a lion in this? Are you wearing the lion makeup? I don't as know well? if that's for me to say, but uh, I would like to be one of the lions. Yes, um, I'm going to be Nala from The Lion King, <laughs> oh. sat in the car when Adam's driving us the wrong the wrong end of the country. Well, yeah. that's what's great. We get to find out about the scene now. So this is your your biggest backtrack, which must be with Adam. So what what is the story of this? insane backtrack me and adam adam we had a lovely time actually we drove down to falmouth in cornwall to do a gig which is a very long drive from london it's probably about five and a half hours and um we had a lovely gig lovely time stayed in the hotel woke up the next day went to leave got got quite far went to a service station came out the service station and we've been driving for maybe a couple of hours Mm mm-hmm and I'm from Cornwall, right? So I, I, I see a sign that says, welcome to Devon. I'm thinking, no, no, not welcome to, never welcome to Devon. But, <laughs> no. but 
we are driving the wrong. Yeah. We're supposed to be driving. The sign north. into Devon should say, "Uh oh, it's Devon." Y- yeah, <laughs> uh, Devon, are you sure? Um, and we we were supposed to have been driving north, and we've been driving south. Oh my god! For a couple of hours, and wow. it was like. It was just one of those moments where, like, I can't, there's no point being upset yeah. because it's just the situation. So I had just had to be like, and Adam's like, we didn't, I, we didn't know each other particularly well at that point, <laughs> and he's just like, I'm so sorry, and I'm like, it's okay, but what I mean is like, it's not okay. <laughs> but I don't know you well enough to shout at you yeah, over this. Yeah, but I wish I would I did. never shout at someone over <laughs> yeah. that. I just think like it's done. It's you know we just. But it was more the fact that we didn't really know each other. We thought we're doing so well on this really long journey. <laughs> yeah. We now have an extra two hours in the car. Yeah. To get, well, an extra four in total hours in the car together or whatever And you've got was. two hours until you get back to where you were at the start. Yeah. Four hours ago. Yeah. So it's actually mad to see a video from Adam because I honestly thought we'd never speak to each other ever again <laughs> after that. Well, yeah, he, he insisted he would only speak with you through the form through of the video. video. Uh, I'm not surprised me and Adam bump into each other and see it. No, it's still... still too <laughs> right. I've still, we've still had enough of each other to last <laughs> up to this point and past. Oh, my God. Okay, that's great. That's, that's, <laughs> that him. lived up to the... Bless to the him. Side in the wrong direction, though. Do you not have, like, so he one? came out the... I think so, but he just came the wrong way out of the service station. And just kept going. And that was it. We just, yeah... Yeah. Wowzers. And I I should, as a Cornish person, I should intrinsically know which way I'm facing. <laughs> like, it should just be... Yeah. About, I, and it was bad to be, like, to be the one who was, like, obviously not driving and, like, um... <laughs> <laughs> I think we're going the wrong... I think we've been going the wrong way for, a, yeah, a long time. Did you do it in the form of a question where you go, have we been going... Yeah, I did. I did. Yeah, yeah that's, that's kind I of did. the easiest way to do it. Yeah, that's just the politest wondering. way. Have we been going the wrong way Wait, for two for, yeah. hours? And like, I, I, I imagine he went, nah, nah, can't be, can't be. Can't nah, be. surely not, surely was not. Was it two hours or just an hour? I can't remember. I can't remember if it's like, it just feels like this epic stretch of road in my head. So yeah, yeah I don't know. I don't know. But Especially when you don't bad. know somebody that well, I feel it makes journeys like that so much more intense or, or just in your head, it feels like a, like a, like a longer time because you kind of can't relax because you're kind of like, trying to force conversation and yeah. chat and get to know the person. Whereas when you know somebody a little bit, you can kind of relax and yeah. just kind of chill out. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but we've had a wonderful episode today where I feel like we've gotten to know you. This certainly hasn't feel, felt like we've had to backtrack or we've gone the wrong way. Oh, have I got to tell you my biggest backtrack? Oh, well, if you have another one that's even no, bigger that, than that. No, that is the biggest that one, is, to be I fair. Thought, I thought it would be. I was trying to think about lies I told at school, which were, <laughs> you know, endless, endless lies. So oh, Of course. I mean, what is, if you want to tell us your biggest lie, we're very happy to hear that as well. I don't know. I think I said I went to Dumbledore's funeral. (laughs) 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 Just just for a laugh. Yeah, Yeah, just for a laugh. Yeah, no, I've told a lot of lies. And were people like, was it it very sad? And you were like, eh, it's all right. Got over it. No, I was like, yeah, it's it's tough, man. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> okay well we found out so much about you today we found out a lot about disney some of it very innocent and uh e- e- economy based some of it very horny <laughs> we found out about sense we found about pet names the best pet name ever of course sophie else barkster uh thank you so much for joining us on the show today is there anything you'd like to plug that's coming up in the future yes um i have got the end of my tour coming up uh and i'm doing the 18th 19th and 20th which i think is a Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Oh God, I've balls this up so hard. Can I do it again? What days are they? What days are they? 18th. 19th, 20th. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Oh, it was right. Thursday, God Friday, damn. Saturday. Yeah, so I'm doing my show, Tams and Kelly, Crying in TK Maxx, um, which is on tour at the moment, and the tour is culminating in London on the 18th, 19th, and 20th of April, which is the Thursday, Friday, and Saturday nights at Soho Theatre. So please come to that absolutely please do and uh, if you've enjoyed the podcast today please share it please send it around leave reviews it massively helps us out and uh, if you want to come down to Monkey Brow Comedy Club we're here every night of the week in Edinburgh we'd love to see you down at the club but from today's episode from you behind the camera from myself from Tamsin we'd like to say goodbye and have a great week bye Bye. (laughs) there's something hiding under the ice imitation of a sound there's something standing behind the door would you like to know